joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And getting the start for a Miami, Sandy Alcantara. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situation. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. It features one of the sport's true superstars, Aaron Judge. Brooke, it's kind of a joke that this guy's got a career OPS over 900. I mean, there are a lot of players that hope that they can just do that in one season, but he's done it his entire career. And in reality, there's only about 60 players that can claim that type of production. That one is hammered right field. Just shy of the wall. Two outs, bases empty. Here is Glaber Torres. And that one hammered Chisholm going back on this one. To the warning track, makes the catch. Middle of the first. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Depot Park and towing the slab in this one, Eric Cole. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Jazz Chisholm Jr. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Garrett Cole, Chris, a guy who was the first overall pick out of UCLA in 2011, and he's turned into one of the best starters in baseball. Yeah, it's pretty cool how things came full circle for him. Drafted by the Yankees out of high school, didn't sign, as you said, went to UCLA, and now pitching the number one guy in the rotation for New York. And the righty deals. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And that one is lifted in the air. Stanton is there. And there are two outs. And time now for the Marlins lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody... Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Nothing in the Miami first. We played an inning in South Florida. No score on the show. Top of the second. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. The right field. Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. In the air, left side. De La Cruz under it. Squeezes it. And a quick out number one. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. Hit to right. Sanchez ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. That one ripped. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And now Bader up to the plate. De La Cruz racing over to make the catch. The Yanks lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. 
bottom of the second. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The left fielder. The wide of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Grabs it on the run. One down. So digging in, Jake Berger. First offering and it just misses. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees single season strikeout record with 257 punch outs. Pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise. He's got it. There's two away. That exists. And now, Jesus Sanchez. On the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. Second inning here. No score. Next offering is foul back. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. And 1-2-3 one, go the Marlins. We'll move to the third with no score. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter now, Anthony Volpe. The right-hander back to work. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And the batter now, Kyle Higashioka, pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing. and just This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. At the wall. Can't make the catch, but I think he brought it back. Safely into second. He's got a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Aaron Judge at the plate. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. Swung on, belted. Way back there. And it's off the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. A two run double. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Glaber Torres. Out towards left center. Chisholm ranging to his right. Long run tracks it down. Runner tags up for third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Way back there. Gone! His 19th home run of the year, and they add on. It's five zip. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Not stopping. He's going for three. Cut off. Throw to third. The tag, and he's out trying for three. Now the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. In the air, right field. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Yankees five, and the Marlins nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's going to be Yuli Gurriel. That one fouled off. Gurriel measures six feet even, 215 pounds, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. The wide to kick the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Why 
behind the kick of the one-two. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And he deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes a 2-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Five foul balls in this at-bat so far, and these guys are going head-to-head. -head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Here's Joey Wendell. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And that's in there for strike one. Wendell, 32 years old. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. And a foul ball. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard and shut down any time. The punch out there. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Two outs, base is empty. Jacob Stallings now. That one missed. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Connor Falefa right there to make the grab. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Marlins. It's 5-0. And welcome back. And now Harrison Bader. Alcantara back to work. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And out number one on the grab. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Doubled in his first A.B. In the air, out towards left center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. In safely with a double, his second of the day. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Sandy Alcantara won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Number 62 gets the call from the pen. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Kyle Higashioka. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Fly ball to right. Two away. So two down now, and here is number 61, one for two. That one is absolutely belted. That ball's carrying, and it's gone. His 12th of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 7-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here comes Aaron Judge. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Chisholm settles underneath it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Two run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's now 7-0. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. Bottom four, Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Fights it off, you'll see another. Oh, and two now. Bows it back with two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The 0-2. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Connor Falefa <laughs> drifts towards it. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Oh, Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Bell. Bell swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Next one misses. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get there. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. They continue to trail. 7-0. Back here in Miami, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Glaber Torres. The pitch. In the air to left center, Chisholm on the move. Makes the grab one away. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered in this game. That's hard hit on the line. This looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The relay. He's in there. Put some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Now, here is out towards right center field, Chisholm, as he glides to his left. Got it! Nice grab! Runner tags at second. Now, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Line drive, base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 8 nothing. And next for New York, Harrison Bader. Puts a bunt down. In time to Guriel. And Bader is set down. That ends the frame. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees eight and the Marlins nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Found back our way, and that's out of play. The Marlins hitless so far in the game. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Two. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Fought off foul. Two outs. And that's in for a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Foul ball still 0-2. Next pitch is popped up. Higashioka puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Miami down in order. Still 8-0. 
back here in Lone Depot Park. Top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And here it comes. This one high in the air to left center. Chisholm pulls that one down. And there's one away. Ooh, he was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Snags it on the run. And there are two down. And now the first baseman, number 61. He's already homered here in this one. And that one in the air center field. Chisholm under this one. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. Nothing doing here this half. 7, 8, 9, 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Yankees 8 and the Marlins nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's Julie Gurriel. Cole back to work. And that one fouled off. Into center. Bader racing after it. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Wendell batting for the second time. And that's strike one. And that one is lifted in the air. Dives and makes the catch. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. On the ground. That ends the inning. And one, two, three go the Marlins. And they're on the short end of an eight-nothing score. Welcome back. It's Aaron Judge now. Leading off the game. The designated hitter. Aaron. The pitch. Judge rips that one. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And there's one down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's got a chance. Stretches out and holds it in. Gotta love the over the shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. <laughs> Towering home run from Stanton. And they add a run. It's 9-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Number 33 gets the ball now. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. In the air right field. Sanchez makes the play, and that is that. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 9-0. Back after this on the show. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Pitch is in there. And that is strike two. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. McKinney pulls it in on the run. Here's Josh Bell. The other way. In there. Base hit. 
and the bid for history is gone. Well, he's been absolutely lights out on the mound all game, and I really thought he might pull off some history here. He had that look, no doubt. Perfect games are so tough, though. It's one of the rarest feats in sports for a reason. Bell stands at first with one out. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Taps softly to the right side. One and second. Over to first, but he beats it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. De La Cruz in the box again. Takes the strike. This to third. They get the force. And that is that. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Yankees nine and the Marlins nothing. New inning getting started and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Here comes a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Chisholm drops steps, heads back on it. Makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Bader now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Steven Oker, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. One down, base is empty. Line drive. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a high fly ball to left. De La Cruz makes the grab, and that's the inning. So the Yanks go in order, but they're still in command. 9-0. Back here in Miami, bottom of the inning, leading off Jake Berger. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 0-2 now. On the ground, right side. Torres handles. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And here is Jesus Sanchez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Popped up. Higashioka settles under this one. He's got it. That is the inning. Eight innings, eight zeros as the shutout continues here. Through eight full. The Yankees nine, and the Marlins nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Kyle Higashioka. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. to left center, De La Cruz sizes this one up, flashes the leather on the run and catch. One up, one down. And up next for New York, number 61. This one in the air right field. Sanchez gets under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's going to be Aaron Judge. Judge. 
This one high in the air to left center. Chisholm drifts towards it. And that's the third out. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Bottom nine, and now for the Marlins, Joey Wendell. And the right-hander back to work. There's the strike. And downstairs. Righty delivers. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Stallings at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. And down on strikes. Two out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Chisholm stands in now and watches strike one. Bounce to third, and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two. Got it. And that'll do it. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work so dominant, he'd have made just one better pitch. Perhaps he'd have a no hitter. 9 nothing. your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.